Test one, two, three. Hello, Sim fans. Happy Thursday evening. Thank you for joining. We'll be going here in a few minutes. Stay tuned. Be right back.
Hello, Sim fans. Welcome to the Thursday evening stream. It is so great to see all of you in chat and with us. Wow, we've got 11 with us right now, Sim fans. Welcome, everybody. It's great to see you. As I said, hey, we've got a pretty good, exciting flight tonight because, why? Because we're flying from near my hometown, Des Moines, Iowa, to Austin, Texas. And uh, Corey, welcome to the stream. Yes, Corey, Allegiant does fly from Des Moines to Austin. So uh, check out those tickets. I don't know what they're like. Well, I don't know what the cost, but hey, uh, pretty, pretty decent airfare from Allegiant. Welcome everybody. Again, thank you for joining. We're doing a little Microsoft Flight Simulator tonight as usual. We've been doing that pretty much all the time anymore. You know, we'll slip a few X-Plane here and there sessions. I know we haven't done it. Shane, I see that maybe you're with us as well. Uh, but we'll see if we can't do that at some point here, Shane. Kyle, welcome to the stream. So we've got Kyle in the house. We've got Corey Johns in the house. Sophia, I think you're a new one to the stream. Welcome, Sophia. Great to have you. Thank you for joining us. And, uh, of course, John. Welcome, John. How are you, sir? And, of course, all the rest of you that are watching right now in the stream, we do welcome you. This is a flight channel for all of you. And uh, so glad to see all of you here. Now, I've got this A320NX from Flyby Wire. The MCDU, the flight management computer, is all programmed, ready to go, some fans. And uh, Aviation Spotter, welcome, Aviation. Great to see you. Aviation is our in-house expert on the A320. He actually does dev work. Aviation, as always, great to see you, one of my moderators. Uh, plan on, as usual, seeing Aces here later, some fans. Great, again, to see all of you. Welcome. So, what do we have? We don't have any payware tonight. This is all free. Tonight is a completely free, 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 free. All the stuff you can get for free, except for Microsoft Flight Simulator, right? But hey, you can kind of get that for free if you have Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So I know some of you that are on Xbox, you might be you might be joining us tonight. I don't know. But you know, this is coming out, everyone, July 27th, right? So we have kind of something for everybody. We're gonna have July 27th, we're gonna have DirectX 12. We're gonna have what Asobo says is going to be a huge, most significant increase in performance right right after i buy my new computer right which should be shipped on the 27th as well so it's kind of a double bonus i guess for lack of a better term on july 27th so i'm kind of super excited about that uh i know that uh aviation your birthday is i think july 26th if i got that right so kind of a lot of reasons to celebrate some fans and of course what does july 27th mean as well for those of you that have the xbox one x or of, uh, or of course the, or I'm sorry, the Series X and the S, you will be able to finally get Microsoft Flight Simulator for free if you have Xbox Game Pass. And um, there's some cool peripherals that are coming out for that. We'll talk about that a little later in the flight. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, Sim fans. So let's jump on in. And I'm telling you right now, um, I think, and knock on wood, I think uh, some of the the streaming issues I've had in the past, I think I got them resolved. We'll see tonight, um, hopefully. And uh, but anyway, so for tonight's flight sim fans, we are again going to be flying from Des Moines. This is not payware. You know, a lot of times I'll do payware scenery, and uh, you know, let you check it out. But I thought, you know, for a night, we'll just do some freeware stuff that won't cost you anything. Um, we got a free utility. Check it out in the description below a discord. I know um, Aviation Spotter you put that in there and I'll tell you what uh, You, you want to check out the discord server join that but uh, we've got um, some free stuff like uh, the pushback utility You definitely want to check that out. But so again the flight time tonight. Let me double check this But uh, I did load it from SimBrief. We got it float loaded from SimBrief. The time is a block time of two hours and two minutes Approximately two and a half hours, and boy, we got some we got some stuff going on in chat. We got uh, Corey says one of my good friends just got hired as a pilot for Legion. Really, Corey, we're gonna have to talk about that, my friend. That's cool, buddy. Uh, <laughs> beautiful sunset on live time. Well, we'll check that out, aviation for sure. And uh, Kyle, I'm watching it right now. You you flying live weather the whole time, aviation, and aviation probably is doing that as usual. Yeah, Sophia, can I tell you some facts about me? Of course, Sophia. This is a channel for all of us. This is your channel just as much as mine. I've said that many times. So, Sophia, uh, please do tell, tell us some facts about you. Um, again, welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Uh, aviation, it's not live weather with a little thunder, huh? <laughs> yeah, right? 
So we'll talk about live weather. So last night, Sim fans, it was kind of scary. We had um, tornadic activity. Um, there were several tornadoes around the area that I live in, Ames, Iowa, and then Des Moines area. There was a lot of tornadoes that touched down even from the northern, north central Iowa to central Iowa, just right around where I live. Um, and so it was kind of a, a little hairy last night weather-wise. We got some needed rain, but we didn't need all that uh, crazy weather. Uh, John Franco, currently Austin, is broadcasting a temperature of 87. Yikes. 93 feels like. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Kyle, 30 Celsius on my ATIS. Alan says, smack that like button, folks. Thank you so much. Yes, let's go for a 15 as usual. We'll shoot for 15 tonight. Please do smash that like button. We will um, definitely appreciate that. So anyway, we um, we will be taking off. Of course, we've got the, as always, we've got the, check it out over on the right hand side there. We've got the Bravo throttle cam going for us tonight. Uh, we've, of course, got the throttle, uh, the Airbus throttle pack from um, Honeycomb. And so I think it's $70 is what I paid for that. You can buy that. Of course, you can't get the Bravo or the Alpha unless you want to uh, pay a little extra or wait for it. But you can get this now. So if you have a Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant, you can get that. All right, so let's get started. So we've got the uh, MCBU. So let's go ahead and take a look at the sim fans. By the way, again, I'm using SimBrief, and SimBrief is absolutely free. Yes, free. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, and the other thing that I love, that I'm a huge fan of, is Sim Toolkit Pro. You can load. You can actually use Sim Toolkit Pro to view the map, see a live map. Um, we won't be like jumping to that, but a lot of times I just want Sim Toolkit Pro, and then it connects right with SimBrief. And it programs, I get an output of the PDF of the whole flight plan. It's beautiful, SimFans. It's beautiful. And the even better thing is that you can load it into your MCDU, your flight management computer, and it just like makes it so easy. Like I know what you're meaning now, aviation. Like I'm a big Zebo fan, like Shane. I'm a big Zebo fan in X-Plane, but once you get used to it, it's it's actually easier. So I got it loaded. Let's take a look at our flight plan today, SimFans. So we're gonna be taking off, of course, from uh, KDSM, which is the ICAO code for Des Moines. We're gonna be taking off a runway 23, and we're just gonna click through this, actually to look at our flight plan. What you do in this Airbus, is you go up to this uh, button here, and button, your switch, flip it to plan. I like to flip this to 20 to get a kind of a little bit of a bird's eye view or a better view. And then you just kind of scroll through here. So we'll leave, uh, we'll go to DSM. So that's DSM right there. And just kind of watch as we click the up arrow, as we scroll through this, we're just looking for any kind of weird anomalies. I did this all by the way, uh, fuzz, <laughs> um, ACT. And then, uh, you know, our, um, we'll talk about this later, but once we get to ELLBJ, that is going to be our ILS intercept. Now, the last couple times I've flown this and I haven't practiced it since then fans, I actually, the, the aircraft was descending, and you might have to help me out here again, aviation, because for some reason, it didn't like intercept the ILS and fly the approach all the way down. I had to switch off the autopilot and do it manually. So I'm obviously doing something wrong. I had it working one time, and now for some reason it doesn't do that. So we'll see what happens tonight. But anyway, so that's how you can check your flight plan. So I'm gonna switch that back to ARC. So this should be at ARC. Um, and then this, typically you'll have that at 10. Uh, Kyle still can't even get a Bravo. Oh, Kyle, I'm sorry, man. Just hold on, buddy. At some point, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You know, the supply chain thing is gonna be here to stay until what reports are until next year, right? First, second quarter next year. But the good news is, some fans, like GPUs are kind of coming down. You know, there's the, uh, the whole Bitcoin thing that's kind of fallen out. Um, and so there's a lot of 3060s, I think, that are, are coming for sale. You know what, I wouldn't buy a used 3060 or a 3070 because you know people that are doing that for Bitcoining are running those at the highest temperatures. I would still be patient and wait. You'll probably be able to get something for MSRP soon. So uh, Kyle, soon, buddy, I'm sure you'll be getting a Bravo. T Sophia, I'm 21 years old. I'm an aunt of 10 children. Wow, a mother of five, four girls and one boy, and I'm pregnant with my sixth child. Sophia, that is a lot of kids, but uh, nonetheless, kids are great. Um, congratulations on that, uh, very cool. Um, thanks for sharing that with us. Um, Sophia, are you a pilot? Are you a sim fan? I assume you're a sim fan um, and uh, sim pilot maybe, but uh, again, Sophia, welcome. Um, thank you for sharing. Shane, how do I connect to see y'all? Uh, Shane, you'll wanna be on the east server so you want to be on the east server and uh, i can show you that really quick shane so make sure you go up here actually if you hit exit 
I'll click on this. You'll want to be on the East USA server. As you can see, I'm at 40, 40 42 milliseconds um, in terms of my connection speed, but that's what you want to be on East. Um, Shane, you can also, if you want to find me, I am original Mr. Mean. Um, Aviation Spotter, you could probably put that in there for Shane. Original Mr. Mean. I got a story about that. I'll tell it later. Uh, let's see. Yep, Kyle says that. John, I'm sure you won't have any issues tonight, but Waco and Fort Hood are some good diversion airports close by. Oh, good to know, John. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Uh, GA, like the general aviation ramp. Hit escape and look at the top right. Yep, exactly. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, so I get distracted easily. It's like, hey, squirrel! <laughs> All right. I got to keep an eye on chat and see what you guys are saying. So, good stuff. All right. So, we are ready to go here. So, we got the flight plan all programmed. And I do, by the way, have the V Speeds program. By the way, if you want to check that out, the V Speeds can find, be found in Perf. Hey, Aviation, doesn't that look a little bit better tonight? 134 for a V1, VR, which, by the way, is rotation. That's when you start pulling back on your yoke. That's at 130, or your stick in this case, an Airbus. I've got a yoke. 135 on the rotation and v2 is 139 aviation i'm thinking and chain i'm thinking that's a little more accurate uh i know last thursday when we flew that was like 124 or 126 it was really low kind of made me go the things that make you go hmm anybody get that reference in that song kind of date you all right anyway so we are ready to go so i'm gonna jump on the outside i'm gonna show you something else i love about this utility Again, this is the pushback utility. It is free. Everything tonight is free except for Microsoft Flight Simulator, like I said. Pushback, link below, install it. You just download it, you unzip it, you put it in your community folder and wherever you have MSFS installed, throw it there. So what I love about this, you click on this and as you can see, you've got your start pushback. You can tell that our parking brake is on. But here, if you go to aircraft, we can click fuel and we're gonna see our fuel trunk, fuel trunk, trunk huh truck fuel truck will show up and um so we'll click on fuel uh we'll do uh catering so we'll get our catering and see he's gonna pull up and our door automatically opens how beautiful is that thank you fly by wire we don't need a jetway well yeah let's go ahead and hook up the jetway so you hit the jetway look at the jetway comes i mean does it get any easier than this folks i don't think so we don't need stairs because we got the jetway. And then let's get these baggage cars. You guys ever saw, seen this? There goes our baggage areas, even with the sounds. Beautiful. What I think is cool is that you'll actually see the uh, luggage coming off the carts, which is kind of fun. I got to admit, it's kind of fun. Sophia, you are an aviation lover and all of your children are wearing dresses just like the former tradition. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice, Sophia. Good to see. Good to see. Uh, Alan says, love that pushback tool. Uh, Alan, yes, it's awesome. It's awesome, my friend. It is awesome. I'm going to check a, one thing here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so let's see. What else we got? So see how it's loading up the luggage? Isn't that cool? I don't know, it's like the little things, right? Doesn't take much to impress me. You all know that by now, right? But look at that. See? And you see the stuff? It's actually pulling off of there. Of the car. I don't, you know, I've never like sat here and waited to see if like the second cart starts loading up. I assume so. It'd be really cool if we pulled ahead. I've never actually taken the time. So it's just, there's only a couple bags left here. Let's see what happens. Does he actually move up? No, but that's okay. Is there only one cart that goes? Oh, no, look at this! Look at this, he's pulling ahead. Um, wait, my, my luggage is on that cart. Hey, hey, <laughs> wait a minute, my luggage is on there. Where are you going? I need that when I get to uh, Austin, come on. <laughs> anyway, I guess it's, you know, it's pretty cool. 
All right, Sin fans, let's, <laughs> enough of the silly business. No, it's never enough of the silly business. We're always silly here, right? I can do all that on the Yippie. Well, that's good to know, Aviation. Um, good to know. So, yeah, so um, Aviation mentions the EFB. So if we go over here, you just click this EFB here. Electronic Flight Bag is what that stands for, by the way. Let's take a look at that since Aviation pointed that out. So Aviation says we can do it here. So probably under Dispatch, I'm guessing. Dispatch? Uh, payload? No, it's just telling us kind of what our weights and stuff are. Ground. Ground. It'll be underground. Oh, okay. Sweet. Aviation, that's good to know. That's good to know. I have never even checked that. Call tug, pushback. Cool, man. Thanks for pointing that out. I had not looked that far. Awesome. I'm just so happy with it. Now, Aviation is the pushback utility. Is that... I'm assuming that's the default one, though, right? Or does it come with the uh, pushback tool that uh, we're using tonight? Uh, that's why it's great to have a dev with us, SimFans. A dev for the A320NX, like Aviation. He just he helps me out in so many ways. Beyond just being a mod for the channel, he is absolutely wonderful. Um, and there comes the fuel. So we already got our fuel loaded, SimFans. So we'll just go ahead. Oh! I was going to check to see if it's updated. Now I'm running the developer edition. Do you have the latest developer aviation? I assume you do. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> I get distracted. Where And where the hell was I? Okay. So we need to put the APU master on. That's our auxiliary power unit. So what we're going to do in this Airbus is we're just going to go up here. We're going to hit master switch on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the ECAM. This is basically just our... Our display for our systems and so right now you can see it's on fuel I was checking that earlier when pre-flighting we're just gonna simply uh, find APU click on that now once you see flap open of course I didn't move to it fast enough you wait for that flap to open and what that is is there's a flap on the back of the aircraft that basically allows uh, it's the exhaust for the APU unit it's probably a good idea to have that open before you start it right I don't actually think you can start it without it open now once it's open you hit start and then you can go down here and you'll see that this is starting to power up. So you'll see your exhaust gas temperature increase, your nozzle percentage, that increasing. If we go out here, you're actually going to see the effects of that APU, that power unit starting up, and you can hear it. How's the sound, by the way, SimFans? Does it sound good? Okay, aviation. The pushback tool I'm using is better, I assume you're saying. So that's the default one, I assume, right, buddy? That's the default. Uh, with the EFB. Yes, Kyle. Uh, we are going to be pushing back soon, and actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Aviation and Kyle. Kyle, are you still up in the air, my friend? Are you still flying around? Um, I will let. Uh, so we've got. By the way, onto the right of our aircraft is Aviation Spotter. I don't even need see some fans. I don't even need his nameplate to know that's him, right? He's always, he's always got the American livery. I know that's him. Yep, see? I knew. See, he's right on the right. And as a matter of fact, don't forget, I'll show you something else I really like, Sim fans. Set your views, okay? So, for one thing, what I'm going to say is if you go to the external view, go to your camera, and you want your wing view, right? So, go down here and click on 17. Now, one thing that drove me nuts at first is I was like, I'm trying to map a view to my controllers because I'm used to X-Plane. By the way, Shane, this is a tip for you, buddy, because I know you're getting the MSFS all configured. Don't worry about mapping a, uh, a, a controller input to your wing view. All you got to do is map a view to your drone view, and it'll just work. You can switch back and forth. So my, I got a button that maps between my drone and that. As long as I have my external view set, to this, um, I, like that 17 view, I've got my wing view. And then I can go over here and I can hit A on my keyboard, that's my default, or Shift A, and that'll flip me back and forth between my views. So you can see that A, 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 and I'm just going through the views, I can get my engines, A inside the cabin, and uh, so there we are, we, we're seeing Aviation Spotter, T-Mac, T-Mac in the house, how you doing T-Mac? Great to see you my friend, welcome, 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 welcome to the stream, good to see you buddy. So glad you're here with us T-Mac. Hey, can't stay, just wanted to say hello. T-Mac, hey man, I understand. And 
I just, I appreciate you, all of you just coming by, even if it is just for a minute to say hello. Hello, T-Mac. Good to see you, bud. All right, so there's Aviation Spider to our right, and there's that beautiful right engine. Ay ay ay, so good to see. But anyway, do check that out, because you know, the views, if you're an X-Plane, like I was a diehard X-Plane person, and the view system it can drive you nuts when you start out. But then once you get used to it, you kind of figure out, and it starts to make sense what, what a Sobo's doing. Um, but it does kind of drive you nuts at first. By the way, there's still no flyby view. So if you're new to Microsoft Flight Simulator, so Shane, I think you've heard me say this before, anyone that's on Xbox that's gonna be getting this, there's no flyby view yet, um, but I think it's coming. I think it's coming. All right, so back to the checklist. All right, so we got our APU master on. Now we got to um, uh, we got our APU start on. Now we need to turn on our APU bleed. So all this is doing, it's going to provide power and air to our cabin. So we're going to turn on our APU bleed. And once that's set and turned on, and by the way, you can look down here on the ECAM. So this is kind of nice. So like you look in here, but if you go to electrical, you can see where your electrical is pulling. Notice Gen 1, Gen 2, we don't have the engines running yet. So you don't have anything coming in, but we have external power. And then we have our APU generator providing 115 volts of power. That's, that's giving us power right now. Um, and then if we go to condition, so we can see that we've got um, our aircraft being conditioned right now. So now that uh, our APU is running, we can hear it there. We're gonna go up to the top and um, we got our APU bleed on. So now we can turn off our external power. You'll hear that clicking sound. So that just means we're disconnecting from the uh, external power that's provided um, probably more than likely by the jetway in that. Seatbelt signs need to come on. So we're gonna turn those on. Seatbelts are on, air conditioning is going. Uh, we need to turn on our fuel pumps. Notice you don't want any white lights on either. So we're gonna click, 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 click. Six times on the clicks. Um, our beacon we wanna turn on, I got the uh, alpha uh, alpha flight controls, so I turn it on there with a the switch. Uh, beacons on, and transponder we need to set to auto. So again, map your, see this is an important thing, map your views, some fans, map your views. So there's there's views, all you gotta do is like move your, your view around and then you can do a, um, I think it's a control alt one, control alt two, all the way to like nine or something like that for your custom views. And then you can map those to your joystick buttons. Definitely do that. Um, so our transponder, we're going to set to auto. So that's that button right there. Transponder's auto and our clock to run. So I'm just going to look up here. And we're going to set our clock here to run. So that's going to start. All right, and then our mode selector, engine mode selector, we're going to turn to ignition. So we're going to click that, um, click. We're going to rotate that button or that uh, switch over to on or ignition. And now we're gonna start engine two. And listen, I'm gonna turn the uh, tunes down so we can hear this. We'll just pause that for now. But this is really, it's got a beautiful sound. Here we go, let's listen. I don't know if you can hear that rumble, but uh, we're gonna watch that engine start up. Not familiar with my intentions. <laughs> That's smart. There it goes, some fans. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, I've got the route aviation spotter. I've got the route in the description, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and post it. There's the route right there, some fans. So if you want to plug that in, um, aviation, go ahead and plug that into. What? Ha oh, you have a jet that just appeared over your aircraft there. That's what was happening. It's kind of freaked me out there for a minute. Love that sound. And again, sim fans, this A320NX, I know many of you know this already, but if you don't, you can get it for free. Pick it up. Um, I think I have it linked below. Oh, my taxi, I'm gonna be taxiing to 2-3, Aviation Spider, 2-3. That's gonna be to your left, our left. Okay, some fans. So we got that started. Let's go ahead and if we go up here, we'll notice now. I want to show something. Gen two is out. We go down to our ecam page. Let's just take a look at that. Let's go back to 
electrical and now you notice gen 2 is providing that voltage right so that's good to go all right so now that we're good there let's start engine one the switch and we're gonna hear our, we're gonna watch our engine one start up cheers by the way and she's gonna be uh, spinning here so if you ever wonder why, you know, when you're in a real jet, a commercial jet, right, and you're, you're pushing back, and before you hear the engine start, you always hear the air conditioning all kind of shut down and get really quiet. That's because it's like redirecting all of that air flow from the APU. It's pushing that air through to start that turbine to spin. It's like almost like jump starting the engine. So that's what's happening there, some fans. So if you ever wondered why, why is it that it like all of a sudden the cabin gets really, really quiet right before the engine starts? Well, it's just the, like we just did there. The captain is switching that uh, airflow to go through the turbine and spin that sucker and to get it jump started essentially. Uh, Kyle, what am I drinking? I am drinking, it's a great question. I am drinking a little whiskey and Coke, my friend. Whiskey and Coke. Nothing but the best, right? Nothing but the best. All right, so now that's all starting up. Let's see, generator one is now unlit. So now if we look down at our ECAM page, we should see that uh, we've got power from gen one. So now that that's there, we can now switch this over to normal. Just double checking my checklist. Now that, that we have the uh, airflow coming from the engines, we can now turn our APU bleed off. So we're gonna, we're gonna check that off, click that off, and then the APU master switch can then go off. And one other thing I wanna show you is we go back down to the ECAM page and we turn, we switch it over to, uh, what am I looking for, APU. It's still running 100%, so it's gonna still have the flat op flap open because it's still producing exhaust. And as soon as that gets to zero, then that flap will close. And by the time we taxi on over to runway 23, that'll be all set and ready for us. All right, before taxi checklist, auto brake, we need to set to max, that's right here, auto brake to max. Uh, spoilers, we want to arm, so we're going to go down here to our spoiler. We're just going to hold our left mouse button and hold and drag up. So we see that little white collar there. We know that's good. And flaps, we want to set to take off. Notice on our Honeycomb Bravo throttle quadrant right here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull this down to a, our flap setting one. And you notice those uh, spoilers come down. And uh, there we go. We're going to look at aviation while we're doing this. Okay, so we got our uh, speed brake set, our spoiler set, uh, our flap set. We're ready to taxi. We got to get our nose lights. So I'm going to go over to the Alpha Flight Controls. I've got to switch for taxi. I kind of like this, by the way. Those devs, I, I'll tell you what, right now, aviation, the devs, hats off to you. Because I, I flip my taxi. Watch this. I'm just switching my uh, taxi switch on my Alpha Flight Controls. Watch what it does. It moves actually the runway turnoff lights and the taxi. These guys are smart. <laughs> they are smart. I flip one switch and they know I've got an alpha flight control and it just happens. Magic happens. So runway turnoff lights are on. Taxi light is on. Strobes I need to set. So I'll do that on my switch. Actually, that went to on. So I'm going to do that to auto. Checklist says auto, so we'll follow the checklist. Strobes are on auto and parking brake is off. So now we gotta fly, we gotta fly. We gotta uh, taxi on over to runway 23. Here's one last thing, Sim fans, as we get ready, we gotta push back, of course. Uh, so Harry, you can see that um, we need to go over to 23. And what I like is when you get this program, you can see that magenta line showing us exactly where we need to go. Honestly, Sim fans, what I should have done before I started the engines was do a pushback. I kind of messed that up, but that's okay. So we're gonna go back to our pushback utility. We're gonna go ahead and remove the jetway. So we'll see that remove. Normally that would have been removed before we started the engines. All right, now we can go ahead and start pushback. So you just click pushback, we're gonna see our tug come up. Start pushback. And see, now I'm blinding the uh, the guy operating the tug because I've got my taxi light on. I bet he's pissed off at me right now. Awesome. Okay, so we got uh, aviation's pushing back. There's that plane again right on top of him.
Corey Johns, you still with us? We're taking you. We're taking you, Corey, to Austin, Austin, Texas, my friend. All right, so he's connected up. Now I can release the parking brake. By the way, if you look at my honeycomb camera, my Bravo camera, I've got a rocker switch to taxi or to taxi to release parking brake. Click it. There we go. Now I just click on reverse. Now, by the way, I can. What I like about this utility is I can use my rudder pedals. If you have your rudder pedals, you can actually move your plane by those. But typically, you know, the um, usually they're just going to push you straight back at Des Moines. <laughs> Kyle, wish we had comms. Kyle, I just looked at that and I read it as, "LOL, wish we had corns." And I was like, "What? What is? What is that supposed to mean? Corns? No, <laughs> comms. I got you. Oh yeah. All right. So we now get we're back far enough. So we're gonna hit hold. So we're gonna stop. And the one thing that you ever notice, like with the um, default pushback, that kind of sucks, is when you're talking to ground services. You got to kind of anticipate the timing because, like, you got to call, stop the pushback, and then it takes a few seconds, and then it finally stops. So it's about timing. Not that it's that difficult, but it's kind of a, it's kind of dumb. All right. So end pushback. We're gonna set our parking brake, of course, again, and our tug's gonna pull away, and that's it, Sim fans. That's it. We're gonna see where Aviation is. He should be pushing back here as well. I love cord. I love cords. <laughs> Yeah, Kyle, we need to do that, buddy. We need to do a future pilot edge. I'm going to have to practice up a little bit of my phraseology, but we, we definitely we definitely can do that, my friend. Yes, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, so we're ready to go, I think. All right, some fans, let's do it. Let's taxi on over to 2-3. Taxi to 2-3. Oh, there's aviation. Aviation, we got you. Pulling back right out from the butt of that other airplane. Um... I had a comment, but I'm going to reserve it for later, after I have a few more whiskey and Cokes. <laughs> All right, let's go, Sim fans. Oh, shoot. So sometimes that'll get stuck. So some, If you just need to get back to your cockpit, go here, go right there, and you're good. And then if you go back, you're good. All right. Rocker switch is off. Here we go, Sim fans. By the way, I am using, or we are using, the TPR pedals and track IR. That's how I'm rotating my uh, head back and forth um, to look around the cabin, or the cockpit, rather. And that, by the way, some fans, that is not what uh, Des Moines looks like. It's not three stories. It's one story. <laughs> but you know what? That's okay. At least we have a 3D structure, right? See what Shane said. I'm connected to the E server and runway 23, but I don't see anyone. Um, Shane, do you know what we, we we actually uh, had a live stream last weekend. Shane, try switching from the east to the west or a different server and then reconnect. That seemed to work for us last uh, last uh, last weekend on Saturday. Give that a try. See if that helps, buddy. See if that helps. And uh, I'm going to let you, Kyle, I see you right there, Kyle. Beautiful. Look at that, Sim fans. There's Kyle right ahead of us. A little, yeah, a little private jet there, Kyle. Good to see you. Is this beautiful or what, Sim fans? So, yeah, try that, Shane. Just, just disconnect. Um, not disconnect, but switch to, like, one of the other servers and uh, rejoin here. Maybe you can see us then, buddy. So there we've got Kyle right in front of us. Aviation spotter is going to come up. Kyle, let's wait for him just for a minute. That'll give me a chance to, you know, take another sip. Got the citation. CJ4, right? Let's zoom in on him. Yeah, CJ4. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, we're up to 12 likes. Wow, thank you, Sim fans. Look at you all. Appreciate it so much. 13. Thank you. Thank you all. I was going to say guys, but Sophia's in the house. So, Blando Calrissian, are we going to fly over your house? Well, Blando, no, not tonight, my friend, because we're leaving Des Moines. But um, you want us to go a little north? Just a little flyover, buzz your, buzz your place? We can do that. 
Blando, so good to see you. Welcome, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. Good to see you, as always, Blando. Hey, how about that uh, Call of Duty? A little bit of, uh, actually, Blando, we didn't play, but you. I, I played a little bit with uh, Shadow, Dire Shadow, last night. But, uh, Blando, good to see you, my friend. Shane says, don't, don't, uh, don't wait for me. All right, Shane. Well, hopefully you can get connected. I know you're still figuring some stuff out, Shane. I'm glad you got Microsoft Flight Simulator, though, buddy. That's awesome. All right, so here comes, here comes. You know, this is a change, although I think Aviation was just waiting for me. I'm not used to sim fans being out ahead of him. That's very unusual, you know. Those of you that have been following us know this, right? And there goes Kyle. Kyle, that's beautiful. Just go right ahead and take off. You give us a little uh, uh, traffic, right? Uh, I'm going to do our before takeoff checklist. Cabin notified, so I'm going to go up here. You always hear this, right? Listen. Always hear that. That's just cabin crew being notified we're about to take off. Exterior lights all. Now, if I hit landing, check this out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn on my landing switch on my alpha flight controls and watch. Not only does it lift these landing lights on, but it also puts this to take off. Again, genius. Absolutely genius. Landing lights are on. Nose wheel lights are on takeoff. TCAS we need to set. That's traffic collision and avoidance system. That's this guy right over here. One, two clicks. Get him turned on. That'll show us when there's aircraft around us. Uh, weather radar, can't forget that. Uh, and then the uh, PWS, we're gonna turn that to auto. And weather radar, we're gonna go to one. We shouldn't be hitting any uh, weather. Takeoff, or we're gonna do chrono. So that just is a clock. So you can see here, if I hit chrono, um, where am I at here? There we go, chrono. If I click that, notice this is a timer. And there's also a switch sim fans over here as well. And now just start a clock, and that's typically what you do. And here we go. Dwight Tower, Allegiant 642, uh, holding short to runway 23, ready for takeoff. That's what you'd normally do, but we'd be told to hold short because uh, there goes Kyle in his CJ4. That looks great, Kyle. Beautiful, man. Let's go to our uh, wing view here. There he goes. There goes Kyle. All right. And normally uh, they'd say position and hold and we'd say um, Des Moines position and hold, Allegiant 642. Here we go. I'm gonna turn on the track IR. There goes Kyle, beautiful Kyle. All right, line up a two, three. Yep, 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 thank you, sir. Thank you, Aviation. I did forget to do that. I wanna hit my takeoff button. So what uh, Aviation's telling me to do is hit this ta takeoff config. Click that, look at that. So we've got auto brake max, signs on, cabin ready, spoilers arm, flaps takeoff, takeoff configuration normal, we're ready to go. All right, so we're gonna go 40% and then we're gonna go toga. I'm gonna go manual toga because I forgot to, to program my, I'll talk about the uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator resetting all my controls to the to one profile, which really ticks me off, but it happens. But we'll talk about that once we get airborne. So V1 is basically you can stop your takeoff if there's an emergency. Uh, VR is rotate, V2 you're past, uh, you're, you're committed to taking off. V Rotate, we're gonna rotate. All right, pause the rate of climb, gear up. There we go. I'm just gonna start banking already. I'm gonna follow that course. Awesome, Kyle. And we're gonna watch here, so notice it says main to manual toga, because I'm manually doing this. Take off and go around is what toga stands for. Now it says lever climb, so I'm gonna drop this down. 
And so now when I see it at, um, and then it says asymmetrical, that means I'm just a little bit off. There we go, I just adjust a little bit. All right, and now I'm gonna hit autopilot one, and I'm just gonna let this Airbus take over. <laughs> You're total IMC, awesome. I should do real weather soon and soon. And there is the beautiful Des Moines Airport. And there's Aviation Spotter, I think, taking off right behind us. He got cleared from Des Moines Tower to take off. He'll be following us here. We can see Aviation Spotter back there. And now if you guys look, there's an S here, right? So that's gonna be when we wanna take our flaps out. So right now we've got our spoilers and flaps out. So um, I'm gonna hit A. So we still have our flaps out. Let's go to the other side, there we go. And now we want our flaps up. So we're gonna put the flaps up. There they come up. There we go. And now we see our speed tape. Now we don't have the dangerous red there. And we're gonna go ahead and climb out to 36,000 feet, sim fans. And by the way, Aviation and Kyle, we will be flying a cruise altitude, at least I will be, of 36,000 feet. Now we got taken off, let me see. Kyle's already past 10,000, good Lord. Sophia, please see my previous comment. <laughs> well, Sophia, if, um, <laughs> I, sure. <laughs> you can, you can, you can tell us what you're wearing. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> oh my gosh, Kyle, you'll be at flight level 440. That is high, buddy. And we're off. You can tell us, Sophia, just keep it clean because <laughs> we might have kids on here. I don't know where this is going, but uh, interesting. Trying to not get passed by y'all is what Kyle says. And then uh, Aviation says, I got flight level 380. Flight level 380? You guys in your high altitudes with your aircraft, I tell ya. What's wrong with me? 36,000. So go figure. Aviation would have to do 38,000. You know why? Well, probably, actually, I know why. He's probably doing real weather. Um, and so he's probably doing 38,000 to clear the cloud tops, I'm guessing. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, so Kyle just passed transition altitude, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off our landing lights because we're above 10,000. So we're going to turn off our taxi, our landing lights. I'm going to turn off our wing lights. So now we should go out here, and we don't see any of that on anymore. Beautiful. All right, so after takeoff, uh, we've got gears retracted, flaps retracted, spoilers. Ooh, spoilers disarmed. I should have saw that aviation on uh, the ECAM. I'm getting used to that. I'm getting better, my friend. Uh, we got that done. Autopilot as required. Nose wheel, I got that off. Room, we take off, turn off lights. That should be off now, and they are. And climb is, we want to go to standard pressure, just like Kyle said, at trans transition altitude, which of course is at 18,000 feet. So 18,000 feet, we will be uh, at transition altitude and uh, we'll be good to go there.
Yep, I got it, Aviation. I caught it before you said it. All good, my friend. So let's see, eighteen thousand. Company message. Oh, company message. That's what you're talking about. I'm sure. Um, let's see, MCDU menu. Where is the company message? ATSU. Is that right? A AOC. Um, here we go. Receive messages. I bet this is Sam. Free messages. Meet you in Austin. <laughs> awesome. That's awesome, Aviation. I got you, buddy. I finally figured it out. And and here's the cool thing, Sim fans. Watch. We can print his message. So we're going to print that. Now watch this. I think this makes it worthwhile to buy it. So like, look at this little printout here so we can see Aviation Spotter's message here. That is too cool, isn't it? Thank you, Aviation. That's 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 awesome, dude. I, I appreciate it so we can show that off. So now if we go down here, we got that over here. Can we read it? Meet you in Austin. There's light right on it, but that's awesome, isn't it? Isn't that cool? Alright, we're above 19,000, so we're gonna go, we're gonna pull this down to standard. <laughs> that's that's so cool. I thought I locked it. No, oh, you're right. Thank you. Forgot to lock that. See, see, everybody. Aviation Spire is going to keep me, keep me true. Thank you, Aviation. I appreciate it, buddy. I do, I do appreciate it, man. In my head, I did like a practice uh, pre-flight, and I had locked it, and I thought I locked it. Obviously, I did lock it. See that's see that's why we have uh, that's why we have first officers. Kyle says I'm breaking in. <laughs> Got to get my Glock. Get my Glock out. Uh, can't get it. No. By the way, I am wearing the heartbeat of our lives, right? Aviation, of course. Airplanes flying. Whether it's if it's for real life, like Kyle. By the way. For those of you that are joining, we've got like 12 or 13 of you on. Kyle, uh, he's got his pilot's license, his PPL, plus his glider rating. I don't know. What else do you have, Kyle? You have something else. Aviation Spotter is working on his PPL. Where are you at with that aviation? Let, let us know. Where are you at? I have my PPL. I passed my um, CFI and CFII written exam. I did my commercial check ride. I did that, and I passed that. But of course, I let my my uh, written exams expire, so I got to go back and do that. I, you know, so um, and then Ace is down. I know he'll be on later. He's a real pilot, but you know what? It's this is a channel for all, everybody, so you don't have to be a pilot. Um, Shane, I know that uh, you you flew on a crew on a C7, I think. So yeah, I mean, a lot of real pilots, a lot of just pure sim fanatics. Um, you know they're 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 loving the aviation stuff and flight simming, which that's that's just as good, if not better. We all have. And then there's people that just don't even care about aviation; they just like to join the the good chat. So, um, well, they probably care about aviation to some degree because they wouldn't click on this, right? But aviation says, that, "Yep, same. I'm taking a break from my PPL for now. That's all good, man. That's all good." Aviation, uh, now did you get your PPL or are you just taking a break from um, the training? I think you're still working on it, right? But you're close. I know you did your solo, right? Hey man, I get it. Focus on other things. Dude, I, I understand, man. There's life, right? We all have lives. Aviation, Kyle. Um, how, how's the stream going? Have you guys been watching? I, I, I think we, we haven't had any we haven't had any delays or buffer issues, right? Or the rest of you have, have any? Has anybody seen any buffer issues? I don't think. We, oh, look at that! Sixteen. <laughs> Thanks to every single one of you. Thank you so much, really, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for doing the likes. You guys are awesome. You're the reason I do this. 
you're the reason I do it. I, 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 you know, I when I didn't think like flying virtually would get any better, then I started doing the YouTube stream stuff, and then I meet I meet all of you that have similar interests. And I've said this before, and I'm not going to get all sop, sappy and stuff, but I'm going to say a couple things here really quick. I've learned so much from all of you, and I continue to learn all from you. But I hope that I'm like. You know, I'm, 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 you're, you're learning something from me as well, right? And that's what it's all about. And um, I thought, you know, it's just going to be a fun thing. Blando, if you're still there, Blando Calrissian, he encouraged me to do a YouTube channel. And here we are, some fans. I mean, what are we at? We're at uh, 736, 14 subs away. I'm doing a giveaway. So if you haven't already subbed, please subscribe. Because as soon as I hit 750, I'm going to do another scenery. I'm going to do another giveaway. It'll be scenery. At 1,000 subs, I'm going to do something hardware. I've been talking about that. I'm going to do a hardware giveaway. Sure, it's 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 a little something for all of you. But I, sh I should be giving back to, you, to all of you. Um, and so, yeah. Anyway, thanks again. We, we hit our we, 17. Look at that. Thank you all. I think it's about time for some music, Sim fans. What do you think? Is it time for music? You know, we haven't done jazz in a while. Should we do some jazz? I know some of you are going to go jazz electric, right? You've done that to me before, or electric jazz. Let's do some jazz. We haven't done jazz for a while. Let's kind of chill out. Chill out. Listen to some jazz. Just chill. Chill it out. Still climbing out to uh, 36,000 feet. Once we get 36,000 feet, I'm going to take a quick bio break. I'm just going to let you all know that right now. <laughs> Plan, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, you're too kind, Blando. I don't know about killing YouTube channel, but um, it's it's not me. It's it's. It's you, it's it's Aces, it's it's uh, Aviation, it's Kyle. Um, I'm 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 doing the easy. I'm doing the fun thing. I gotta be like in the spotlight, you know. It's it's all of you that are the ones that make it successful. I just sit here and I talk. I mean, I've got like the easiest job in the world right here, right? I just gotta like start a stream and then at least be maybe moderately entertaining. But I, I, I really, I'm not, I don't really do that much. It's all of you. But I appreciate it. Let's check out that wing view. So we got, uh, we're climbing and we're about at our cruise. <laughs> all our checklist says for, for cruise. And this is going to, this is, by the way, going to drive Aviation Spider nuts because I still like... Oh, that's weird. Look, you can... Dude! See why I highlighted? <laughs> you can see through the, my, my page because it's almost green. I've got the green screen behind me. That is, that is completely crazy. That's pretty funny. I know what that means. You all know what that means, right? That means Aviation is going to take that clip and he's going to put it in like the funniest video somewhere. I know what that means. Because a few moments later, I know what that means. Oh God, I only can imagine where he's going to put that. <laughs> Kyle, top of this layer isn't until like five. See, that's why you guys need to do the easy way, right? Do your like your um, the easy weather, because then you don't have to worry about that. To be honest, I do it because I don't want the um, the stream to be like really choppy. Because like I, I loaded it earlier today, and I was going to do a, a real weather flight, and 
the frame rates are just kind of sucking out. I could have probably turned the weather radar off on the aircraft. That probably would have helped, but like I don't want to deal with low frame rates. Nobody wants to have low frame rates, including me. I'll tell you what. So here's here's the thing, everyone. Once I get my new system. So it's gonna ship on the 27th. I'll probably have it somewhere at the beginning of August. I will start doing real weather flights um, for probably most of them. Definitely the commercial flights I'll do real weather and I'll do some general aviation real weather. General aviation I kind of like to do where you can see the ground because that's kind of the point. But um, for the commercial flights, we'll start doing um, real weather uh, the whole time so we can get some IFR, um, we can approach to minimums and uh, see how we do landing. Um, yeah, the easy weather. But you know, right now it's kind of impacting my system, so I don't, I don't really like to do all the clouds and thunders. Although I do have to say this, um, Microsoft Flight Simulator does a really good job in terms of minimal impact. Like if I go to X Plane and I have like thunderstorms and cumulonimbus clouds and lots of layers of clouds and rain and lightning and everything, it really starts sucking up performance. I do have to say this, a Sobo, it's not as bad, but it still does impact me, and I'm like, I'm teeter-tottering right around the 32 to 36 frames per second, and so until I get my new system, I really don't want to do uh, major thunderstorm live weather, and that's where we're at, so. I'm almost excited, let me check that, Kyle. So, soon, soon, man, soon, we'll, we'll be doing all real weather commercial flying. Are you like a, are you like Shane and now you're getting confused? passing 34,600 guys. Ground speed. What is our ground speed? Ground speed. Ground speed right now is 448 knots, Kyle. 448 knots, just shy of 450. For 8,100 feet below you? Okay, let me go back outside and see if I can find you. Way the hell up there. Might have to turn on me. Oh, there you are, I think. Is that you right there? Is that a star? I can't tell. Let's go inside our cockpit and see if we can see him. I don't see him on TCAS. Do you guys see him on TCAS? Do we see Kyle on TCAS? I don't see him on TCAS, Kyle. Big cell in front of me. I might not make it, guys. Oh, God. That's scary. Oh, please don't die, guys. Be safe. Almost at our 36,000 uh, cruise altitude, and by God, sim fans, that's a good thing, because BioBreak has long since passed. Right, right, right. Should we turn on real weather for the hell of it? Maybe we'll turn on real weather when I get back. Try to find your aircraft. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and turn off our um, seatbelt sign. We'll turn that off. So I didn't hear. It. Nope, I did no smoking. There it is. Heard the ding. All right, some fans, please feel free to walk around the cabin. Uh, please go ahead and get yourself a, a beverage, uh, a snack, do a bio break, and uh, I'm going to. I'll be back in about uh, four to five minutes. Sim fans, always fun to, to fly with you. I'll be back in, like I said, three, four, maybe five minutes, but it won't be that long. You know me. I'm pretty quick. So uh, be right back, Sim fans. Stay tuned. More to come.
Okay, I'm so sorry. I lied. <laughs> that took longer. My wife just got home from a haircut. And so... Oh, I need to turn the uh, volume off on the uh, other PC here. Uh, let's see. Where's OBS? Where's OBS? I'm going to leave the uh, honeycomb Bravo Brother Padre cam off for now. But uh, so sorry, some fans. Uh, thank you for sticking around. I do appreciate it. Yeah, my wife, she got a haircut, got home, and had to tell her how beautiful she looks. Because she, she does. I don't even know why she picked me, honestly. Um, yeah, so, I had to talk to her for just a few minutes. So, thank you, some fans, for sticking around. Do appreciate it. Um, as we're making our way to Austin. Austin, Texas. Yes. Yes, indeed. How far are we from it, some fans? We're going to go down here. We're going to go to Flight Plan. Um, I think this is probably as good a time as any, but I better be getting, you know what, I better get caught up on chat. There's not too much to be caught up on, but there's some. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Aviation Spotter asks, any plans in the far future, far, to do maybe one long haul flight for a special? That's a good idea. Sure. So, like, what do you think in aviation? Maybe starting, like, um, middle of Saturday, like, maybe, like, 1 p.m. and doing a major long haul flight give me give me uh i'll do it uh let me know what you all would like to see on that that's a good idea aviation uh thank you for throwing out there um let's see big cell in front of me yeah that saw that i missed that earlier uh, on the long haul flight rc guy will the dc6 from pmdg be uh able available on xbox series x Honestly, that's a great question. Uh, um, I don't know is a short answer, RE guy. By the way, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining us. I don't know if that's going to be available. It's, it's kind of one of those things where I would think it would be. I think it would be, um, RC guy, if, if I had to guess, because I would... Here's the thing. I think the stuff, and I'm totally guessing, by the way. I don't have any insider information. I don't know. But if I were to guess based on things that I've seen. I was an alpha tester for Microsoft Flight Simulator that we fly today. I did I did get accepted to the alpha testing program. Um, that doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> I, just, I, I just did. Um, but if I were to guess, my bet is um, on, our, on that RC guy is as long as you can buy it from the marketplace, you can probably get it in Xbox Series X and S. I'm totally guessing on that, but my guess is that. If it's outside of it, it's probably not going to be available to you. Now, here's the thing. The PMDG DC, DC6 is not currently available, as you know, in the market. Maybe you don't know, but in the marketplace, it's not available uh, yet. But it is supposed to be available. PMDG has already mentioned that probably in a month or so, because they said probably about two months from release, that it would be available in the marketplace. So, RC Guy, on, on your specific question, yes, I believe the DC6 is going to be available on the Xbox, but that's a pure guess on my part. I don't know that for sure, but I would guess that anything in the marketplace is going to be available on the Xbox Series X and S. Uh, Kyle, music is a little loud uh, compared to you. Okay, thank you, Kyle. I'll turn it down a little bit. Oh, God. Yeah, you're right. It would be loud. Whew. Thank you, Kyle. But yeah, hopefully you heard me, RC guy. But yes, I think um, the DC6 will be available as long as it's in the marketplace. It's not in the marketplace yet, but it will be. Sometime soon. Jeez, Kyle, you're already 51 miles. Or 51 miles. 51 minutes from top of descent. Holy cow. Okay, well, I guess that's probably a good time as any, Simfan. So how do we figure top of descent when we're in this A320NX? By the way, DC, uh, RC guy and the rest of you, um, actually, I'll probably divert, uh, I'll probably ask Aviation this question. Aviation, um, I know you can't get the developer edition, um, but you can get the, um, the production version of the A320NX, as we all probably know, in the Microsoft Flight Simulator marketplace so um aviation would you I, now if i had to guess i think this would be available on the xbox series x version for rc guy and others that are on here um i was just telling my wife too that i i, I felt that there would probably be a lot of people that are coming on to the streams um checking out microsoft light simulator given that's coming out on the xbox soon that those of you that have just the xbox series x or s um but i would guess it would be as long as it's in the um 
Microsoft Flight Simulator Marketplace, and it is, so I would guess so. Uh, do you know aviation? You're a developer, so I don't know if you can um, say or not, but I um, would be interested. So anyway, some fans, if we want to figure out our top of descent, um, we, we just go over to performance, and notice right now it says 446 knots, so it knows that that is our speed right now. If we sync our altitude, of course, we're flying at 360, flight level 360 or 36,000 feet. Our target altitude, I was checking um, AirNav earlier, and AirNav actually was having some problems with the charts. Let me see if it works now, but I think it's 1,600 feet is when we do our ILS intercept. I need to play around with that a little bit because, oh, here we go. So it is working now again. Yeah, 1600. So our ILS intercept is Echo Lima Lima Bravo Juliet, um, and that's 5.3 nautical miles from our airport, and that's at 1600. So what we do here is we just click in there and then go to your keyboard. We're going to type 1600. That's 1600. And the beautiful thing about this in bands is now we can see that it's 108 nautical miles. This is what Shane loves, by the way. So now I got to go. We got to go down to our um, flight plan and figure. We got to start doing some math. We got to start counting to 108. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll down. Is there a better way to do this yet? Aviation, because I, I don't know if there is. So, we got to count to 108. So, there's 487. Um, 87 plus 8 is 95, plus 70 is 165. So, 165 minus 108 is what? 57, so 57 nautical miles from Chad. If I did the math right in my head, that's some quick math. I've, you know, I've been known to not do math right. Um, I think it's, let's do that again. I always like to double check, kind of like measure once, measure twice, or measure once, measure twice. Measure twice, cut once. So let's go back down. Again, we want to go 108 from um, ELLBJ because that's where our intercept is. So again, we've got ELLBJ, that's four nautical miles, 87, 95, uh, 165, okay? And then um, 108 minus 165 is 57. So 57 nautical miles. I think I got that right, some fans. So when we get 57 nautical miles right here, when this is 57, that's when we're gonna start our descent. Did I get that right, guys? I think we got that right. Hey, RC Guy, thank you. Cool channel, I appreciate it, RC Guy. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, you'll get a nice, cool, nifty GIF, animated GIF if you do, but uh, appreciate it. And if you don't want to subscribe, that's cool, man. Um, but uh, glad, you're, glad you hopped on by. Thank you for joining us. I do appreciate it. I think there's gonna be a lot of you. I, by the way, um, I have an Xbox Series X as well. My son is like, incredibly excited um, RC guy here's another thing have you checked out the turtle beach there's a um, there is a yoke and a throttle that is coming out from turtle beach I think the MSRP is it's 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 still a little pricey it's not quite as high as the honeycomb that I have I've got the the Bravo throttle quadrant and the alpha uh, flight controls but the turtle beach is going to connect to the Xbox Series X like you have the console it's $349.99 MSRP US um, but uh, I do plan on buying that. Um, I'm going to get that for my son, and I'm going to do a review on, on the uh, channel here. I'll let you all know how good it is. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's something you might want to check out as well, RC Guy. Cheers to you. Cheers to all of you. Thank you for joining. How's the music now, Kyle? Is the music all right? We better uh, dial in our weather, too. Uh, you know what? The other nice thing about this A320 is it'll tell you. Well, we don't need to yet. But it'll actually tell you, like, hey, check out the uh, your destination weather. I am using easy weather. You want me to go to real weather? That's the beauty of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's go to easy weather, and hopefully my, my simulator doesn't crash. So go live weather. Oh, see? That was dangerous. Oh my god. <laughs> now I kind of see what you guys are talking about. So I, I, I kind of love that too, by the way, everybody, because for the fact that you can just like switch and go to real weather just like that, or like X Plane, you have to like reload everything, which is a real pain in the rump. 
Oh, we got, yeah, look at that. We've got uh, lightning below. So let's take a look at our, well, we don't have any weather ahead of us, so we're not going to see it on our uh, MFD. But normally you'd like, when we go through the clouds, we would see that. Now what is your ground speed? All right, pal. Uh, oh, 443. I did, what was that before? It only, it only impacted us, what, five knots? Because wasn't it, didn't I last tell you it was 448? Can't remember. See, that's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of like switching it to real, uh, real weather and then like having Microsoft Flight Simulator saying our aircraft is overstressed and then crashing. That was actually probably stupid on my part <laughs> because I could have just ended the, uh, the flight right there by a crash. And I guess the good news is if I did do that, you know, we would see it on the um, funniest moments, right? By aviation, you'd do a compilation added to it. Yes, uh, 18 right is correct. ILS 18 right, pal. So aviation, remind me. So what? So like this thing has not been intercepting the ILS glide path, and I don't the glide slope, and I don't know why it's not doing it. Like I'll switch it to LS for landing system. I don't click the localizer here. I do the approach mode, and I and I do switch it to LS over here, and it'll like it'll it'll climb down to the 1600 because I'll have that set here in a minute. But then it like stops and like the um, glide slope indicator keeps going down, the ILS indicator keeps going down and my aircraft will just stay at 1600 and I don't know what I'm doing wrong with it. Blando, sorry Blando. Why am I not seeing your, okay Blando. Um, Blando says, I think you need to turn up your mic as the game noise drowns you out as well. Really? Okay, hold on. I did reset uh, OBS because it had problems. Hold on, Blando. Um, I'll turn it up here a little bit. How's that? Is that better? Jeez. Blando, that's, that's odd for you to say that because usually I'm so damn loud, I'm drowning everything else out. But uh, is that better? Hopefully that's better. Sorry I missed that comment, Blando. Thank you for mentioning that. I think you need to turn your mic as the game noise is drowning out. And so hopefully that helps. Darren Johnson. Hi, Darren. Five by five, Darren says. Welcome to the stream. Darren, thank you for joining, my friend. Good to see you, Darren. How was that Call of Duty last night with Blando? <laughs> yeah, well, it takes me a while, guys. I, I'm sorry, I apologize, I really do. It takes me a while. I just, I, I get to talk in, and then I like miss messages, and then I skip lines, and uh, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm happy that you guys just bear with me. I, I do appreciate it. What else did I miss? Now, I turned on real weather because Aviation Spotter was giving me shit. Um, let's see. <laughs> so I think we're good. I answered you, Kyle. ILS 18 right. <laughs> All right, we're good. Should I leave, like, real weather on? Now you guys make me feel like I'm being a wuss if I'm not leaving real weather on. Although, look at that ahead of us. It looks like some nasty stuff too. It looks like these we've got uh, rising clouds, like cumulonimbus clouds uh, up ahead. Look at this. We've got dark clouds above us. I don't know. We'll we'll leave them on. We'll see what happens. If we die, we die. <laughs> that's, that's always what you want to hear from a pilot, right? <laughs> if we die, we die. How'd you like that over there? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to. We're at uh, cruise level of flight level 360, 36,000 feet. If you look off to your left wing, you will see a lot of cumulonimbus clouds, lots of thunderstorms. And by the way, if we die, we die. Welcome to Allegiant Airlines. I'm sure that's what people would love to hear. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Now 
hearing, <laughs> hearing talk over the radio here. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Nine o'clock high. Aviation says I'm opening OBS right now. Sweet, Kyle. He's got an achievement. That's the other cool thing, RC guy. Like, it'll be on Xbox Series X, and I'll like see like, oh, I've landed at 500 airports. I've got another achievement. That's kind of neat to see. All right, uh, let's see. Um, let's get this set, some fans. Let's get this set to um, 1600. I'm going to show you something here in just a moment. So we're going to set this to 1600 because that's what we got to drop down to, right? And then... To 16. Okay. So, what what I was talking about, so how, how do we know this, right? And let's, let's go here and check. Remember Chad? What did we say? What did we say? We said 57 nautical miles from Chad. So this one, this says 57. We're, we're still, you know, we're still fine. We're like, um, we're still up here. So we're, we're a ways away. Anywho. So what we're talking about here, some fans, I'm gonna switch over to this. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to my Chrome browser. I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm talking about. I know I've done it before. I'll looking at sim fans is simply this is our approach plate for ILS or localizer runway 18 right and that's what we're flying in that's what um, you know we're doing with aviation and Kyle and so we see here we got 175 now the beautiful thing sim fans like on the Zebo so like Shane you're used to the Zebo and you need to set the course line to 175 I'm gonna have to change that frequency because that guy's talking over there. Um, so uh, again, um, so we've got 175, but that'll automatically be programmed in for us um, with the Airbus. 110.95 um, is actually going to be, uh, let's take a look at that really quick. So that 110.95 is the frequency of the localizer. So let's take a really, real quick look at that. So if we go down here and we go to, oh, uh, what is it? I got, um, there we go, rad nav. It's not in yet, because we aren't close enough. But that'll be programmed in here. You can manually program that in along with the course. So that's what that, that we'll see that in a minute. Um, pretty soon, that should populate for us. So anyway, back to this. But that's 1600, so this little lightning bolt was 1600, so that X right there, that X marks the spot. That's where you want to intercept your ILS approach. So usually you're doing like a three degree angle um, for your landing to the runway. This is your runway. And um, you can see that right here, we're essentially 5.3 nautical miles from our landing point. And we want to be at 1600. So all you have to do is program your um, your altitude, your autopilot at that level. And so once we get to that 108 nautical miles, which we saw from here, this 108, once we get 108 nautical miles from that X, that X marks the spot, um, that's when we're gonna go ahead and we're going to um, click this down arrow, and then our aircraft is going to start just, the engines are gonna pull back automatically because we have auto throttle enabled, which is right here, and we have autopilot enabled, and so our aircraft is going to essentially just keep descending down, and it's pretty, decent calculator that we will be close to that um, place to um, intercept that that uh, localizer and the ILS approach. Now here's the thing, there's still some work that need. wow, 20 likes, thank you all, by the way, thank you so much, that's awesome, we've, we've exceeded our likes, uh, our like goal, thank you so much. So, 
the thing is, like, the Z bolt, for those of you that have X-Plane, if you do the Z, click the up arrow. Okay, thank you, uh, Aviation. Um, so, the thing about the Z bolt is, like, the flight management computer, it will, like, show you what's called the TOD, or top of descent. And it, as long as you have your altitude or your intercept right there plugged in at 1600, it's going to automatically just start descending. You don't have to click a button, but the Airbus is a little different. You have to do that. But the FMC and the Z boat is a lot better um, at this point. The FMC is still better in X plane than the Airbus. I'm not trying to knock fly by wire. They'll get there, but it just, let's just talk reality. It's still better. Who's flying in front of us? Somebody's flying in front of us. Right across, probably an AI aircraft. But uh, there's no doubt in my mind, Airbus will get there. Uh, Airbus, fly-by-wire will get there. Um, and so I guess with that being said, what do you guys think about the, the Phoenix Sim unveiling the new Airbus A320 study level? I'm, I'm kind of conflicted, actually, to be honest with you, Sim fans. Look at that, that was close. That was really close. I'm a little conflicted, and I'm gonna tell you why. This is free. So if, if Felix Systems is going to come out with another A320, or Felix Phoenix Sim, I said Phoenix. Phoenix Sim. If Phoenix Sim comes out with, well, they will come out with A320. Um, and I'm, it's awesome. I'm not knocking it. It's great. If there's another study level aircraft, why would we not want it? But let's just be realistic here. I think the Zebo 737 in X-Plane is, is probably better than a majority of the Payware aircraft. It's updated more. Um, it's it, it's, it flies better, the flight model's better, the systems are better, they constantly update it, just like Fly-By-Wire does with this. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna be optimi optimistically pes pessimistic, if, that, if I can say that, is that really a thing? Optimally, yeah, optimally pessimistic. Um, optimistically pe pessimistic, I'm having too much whiskey. So, I'm glad it's coming out, but the thing is, I just don't know if it's going to be worth the money. We'll see if it is, but when we have the stuff that's being developed by um, the community, you know, for the A320NX by, by Fly-By-Wire, it's going to take an awful lot for me to, like, pay $60, $70, $80 to go to an A320, the same kind of aircraft that i got to pay for, and I don't know how frequently they're going to, they're going to update it. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, yeah, I'm optimistic. I'm, 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 I'm a little pessimistic about it, but I'm optimistic about it too. I mean, I'm not gonna knock it. I agree with you, aviation. I thought the same thing. I thought, you know, when they started, they started sending out the whole thing about like starting it from scratch. Now it wasn't the whole system, right? It's just the. I think they're just doing the 3D model from scratch, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they're doing the eight. What I read is they're doing. The, you would know better than me because you're one of the developers. But aren't, aren't you aren't you guys doing the A320 model like from scratch? I don't think it's the whole plane, right? It's just the model. And I, I thought the same thing. And then Kyle says not a, a blurry texture, right? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see, guys. But I think. Uh, it's gonna see I, I don't know I mean what what I can't figure out is why would Phoenix sim do something that is already out there it's kind of like I mean I suppose you know on X plane like Shane if you're still out there like the 737 you know there's some good developers that did the 737 um, that made it pay where we still had the Zebo so it can get more in depth I get it I get it some fans but honestly um, it better be one hell of an aircraft, is all I'm saying. If, if, if somebody's going to pay money for it, but you can get this airplane for free, and it's constantly being improved, constantly being developed by multiple people, um, sometimes it's better for the, 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 the freeware versions, right, that have a community behind it, because you know it's going to keep, keep being improved, where sometimes the payware stuff... They want to make the money, they get it out there, and they might have a few updates here and there. But like uh, like with the Zebo 737 and X-Plane and then this aircraft by Fly-By-Wire, it's constantly being updated. I don't see any of that. I don't see any other developers like updating their aircraft as frequently and as much. We got lightning sometimes. 
as much as the freeware version. So there's something to be said about that. When you have a huge community behind it, like Aviation Spotter behind this, he does some development on this. Um, I just don't see how paying 60 to $80 for something, but you know what? I, I shouldn't say it because I don't know. I, don't, I haven't seen it. We'll see. We'll see. They're gonna create it from scratch. Oh wow, that's crazy. So Aviation says, no, no, the, the thing with fly-by-wire is limited on is the 3D modeling, the A320 model is shit. <laughs> and we were doing a workaround that would take a long time to finish, uh, let alone explain. So fly-by-wire have decided to create an A320 from scratch. Oh wow, well, the glare shield, okay. Oh, that's cool, dude. Uh, aviation, that's awesome. Well, I mean, so I stand corrected. It's not just the model. It's the model, but more, right? But see, I don't know, aviation. I mean, <laughs> if you guys start from scratch, uh, more power to you. That's, I, I mean, I, I don't even, I mean, that's that's a good strategy, but I don't even know if you need to start from scratch when you're offering it for freaking free. Like, again, I think, um, I don't know. I just... I just, I kind of wonder, like, why don't they go with, like, an A319 or an A321 or an A330 or, hell, an A380? Why why do an A320 when that's already offered up for free and it's continuously be, being developed by U Aviation and the other absolutely talented developers out there? But, hey, you know what? If you guys want to do the A320 from scratch, are it, I'm not going to complain. I don't think any of you are going to complain. Nobody here is going to complain about that, right? No. But anyway, I don't know. It's just weird. It's cool. It's cool. It's it's cool that they're doing it, but it's weird. But why? You, you kind of wonder sometimes, like, why did they pick the planes they do? Like A319. Then you have like a different model of aircraft, and like you're going to have people that like the diehard fans of the A319, right? Kind of like Tallis, like A319 or an A380. Why do you pick something that there's already a community like full Bora behind? I'm gonna get off my soapbox right now, but I just I don't I mean it's gonna take more than it's gonna take more than a great a good aircraft, let me put it that way, to spend 60, 70 plus dollars on when I have this already by a community that continues to pump time into it. Um, anyway, that's my thoughts. Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a, um, a, a tangent there for a while um, about it, but I don't know. I just, yeah, anyway. I'd love a 675. <laughs> How's the volume now, guys? Is, is the uh, music okay? Is it a good volume, or does it need to go up, go down? Tell me, tell me. Looks like we got through some of the weather, guys. So, what what's the difference, aviation? What's the difference between an A320 CEO and an A320 NEO or an A320 NEO? I mean, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not as well versed in Airbus as I am Boeing. I'm a Boeing guy, as you know. So what's what's the difference? To me, it's not enough difference to pay money for, but maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just naive. All right. So how far are we, Sim fans? So um, there it is. So there you go. You got your I. Is that CFQ or is that IGFQ? Let's go back to crew. And let's take a look. So that is, go up here. Um, and so we got IGFQ. So see, once you get closer, Sim fans, you start seeing that stuff. And that's, to me, I'm still getting used to it. See, you got your course of 175. And uh, as you saw, oh, let me bring that back up. Hold on, 175, so you can see that, right? 175, so right here, this is the 175. So you got 175, 110.95, I, GFQ, and um, and that all just automatically comes in here. IGFQ 1095. How beautiful is that? It's just beautiful. It's really beautiful. 
Um, and let's take a look. And so, Chad, again, we're, we, we've got time, some fans. We're still cruising. Uh, let's see. Aviation says A320 current engine option, which is the CEO, have the CFM56 and IAE V2500, which, by the way, are the engines. The A320 new engine option have CFM Leap 1A and Pratt & Whitney. Okay. I mean, that's awesome. Not, but is it worth 60 to 70, 80 bucks? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. RC guy says, what stays on, on flight stream stays on a flight stream. Yeah, yeah. I think you're, is that a Las Vegas reference? Uh, <laughs> if, if it is, yeah, exactly. Kyle says, 19 minutes from top of descent. Um, excellent. I'm going to check the log here. Sim fans, we have, gosh, I feel like knocking on wood. We have had no disconnects. Uh, we've had no stutters, I think, and we're still good. All right, got over the front, and I'm still, guys, I'm still flying the uh, real weather because you guys gave me a bunch of crap, so I just said, well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to fly real weather and keep at it. 10, 12, the night is yet so young. Good thing, too, because we, have a, we still have some time. Um, let's take a look at that. By the way, if you want to see... So our destination, UTC 1652. So what we can do is we can look up here and I can use my arrow keys to move around. So we're like, um, what is that? Uh, 52, 40 would be 56. So we've got like 30, gosh, I can't do math all of a sudden. 52, so five, 35 minutes, is that right? 35 minutes to touchdown, that's not bad. Yeah, now it's looking great, Kyle. You're right. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Guys, Aviation Spider is in my direct messages sending me secret pics. <laughs> I won't ask. I won't. I won't ask. We we lost Sophia. We lost Sophia. So I'm surprised Sophia didn't send direct messages. I've, I have a feeling though, Sim fans, I know who Sophia is. I, I, I have a feeling I know who Sophia is. I don't want to say, but I have a feeling I know. Um, I think somebody's messing with us. Okay. Um, if you were here when she, when, uh, she was on. I don't know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion of who that was. Alright, so let's see. How far are we away from our... So, Chad... That's at 1648 would be um, the cell. 1651 would be at Chad, but we don't want to be there. So, 60, I'm kind of going to go here at 1648. Just Safe, right? Jeez, we got like 30 minutes before that. Is that right? It doesn't seem to does it? Kind of does it. Yeah, I think that's right. Let's double check and make sure that still says um, 108. It does. I'm going to do um, some math again, some fans, just to make sure. 4, 87, 165. That is 57.
checking something out here. Show on 21. I did the math wrong there. 21 nautical miles, right? 21 nautical miles from Chad. So we have 21 nautical miles from Chad, um, and then we add 83 to UT. That'd be 104, and then ELLG. L E L L B J would be 108, so I'm glad I redid the math on that in advance because that's actually going to be um, 21 nautical miles from Chad. So, huh, gotta check that again. Doing good math, 34 minutes, 250 miles. Tipper just passed under me. We are going to have a great time sequencing ourselves in 10 minutes for me to hit top of the set. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, look at this. Hey, who's behind me? Is that you, Aviation? Right behind me? Hey guys, how, how was the, uh, what did you guys think of last Saturday's uh, fly-in? You know, we had a good time. We did the fly-in, um, you know, had a great time doing our multiplayer. We did Discord Boys. Do check that out on the uh, stream, on the channel. Um, we had a lot of fun doing that. Always a good time, by the way. We, we do it the first Saturday of every month. Um, but we didn't do it this first Saturday of July because, of course, it was the 4th of July weekend. And so we, we switched it to the 10th of July. So just to let you all know, so you can put it on your calendar, Simfan. So do check it out. Um, put on your calendars that we will be doing a multiplayer fly-in on Saturday the 7th now of August. How in the world is it August already? Almost. It's going to be August. That just blows my mind how we could already be almost in August, right? But put it on your calendar so the next multiplayer fly-in is going to be August 7th on a Saturday. It'll be 8.30 p.m. in the Central Standard Time or one or oh, 01.30 Zulu. And uh, put in your um, suggestions for the multiplayer fly-in. We've got plenty of time, but I always look forward to that. Let me know what you want to do, and uh, we will definitely do that. And so, Simpans, it'll be a blast. By the way, a little administrative things really quick. Um, so we will be doing our Saturday VFR flight um, this Saturday as, as usual, 8.30 Central Standard Time, 01.30 Zulu. Um, that'll be a VFR flight, so we will be flying either the, you know, Just Flight, a Warrior, if it's out, it probably won't be, um, but the Just Flight, Aero, um, or the Turbo, or any of the Carinado aircraft, we'll definitely be flying those. I'll figure out a flight plan for that. If you want to give a suggestion in Discord of where you'd like to fly, that'll be this Saturday. Next Saturday, 
Um, I do plan on I do plan on streaming on Thursday, Sim fans. So next week Thursday, like tonight, I'll plan on streaming. But I will not be streaming on Saturday. I've been, as some of you know, I've been like conditioning and riding many, many miles to get ready for Ragbri, which is an Iowa bike bicycle event that rides from the west uh, border of Iowa to the east border of Iowa, ends at the Mississippi River. Um, I plan on doing half of that and uh, going to be starting on Saturday, so I will not be simming. Uh, I will not be streaming on Saturday, so that will be the, uh, let's see here, that'll be the 26th. So no stream um, for me on the 26th, but I do plan on Thursday of streaming. So just uh, FYI there, sim fans. But uh, so we'll make it a little extra special next Thursday night since uh, we won't be streaming that following Saturday since I will be out sweating and probably drinking a lot of beer and riding a lot of miles. So it's a, it's a push, right? It's a push. So anyway, just just to let you know. Aviation Spider says, I don't know something like Let's ask Kyle Summers. Uh, maybe working August 1st through 9th, Kyle says. Okay, good to know, Kyle. Uh, RC Guy, what about people that are new to MSFS 2020 when it comes out on Xbox? Hey, man. Um, so I've been thinking about that. I, I actually am debating buying a um, video capture card. So I can grab from my Xbox Series X, um, RC guy, I can grab from that and actually kind of like say, hey, here's a comparison between the Xbox Series X and the PC version. Um, I was checking out some of those and they're not too bad. I think it was like I found a pretty good capture card for like 150 bucks. Um, so I might do that RC, no promises, but um, you know, that's the thing, I mean, I, I think given that the Xbox Series X is so close to, um, you know, to PC that, you know, you can watch these streams and, and, and feel fairly comfortable um, with that. But, uh, but yeah, I, I, I do plan on at least checking it out. I hope to get a, a capture card so I can do a little bit of capturing on the Xbox Series X for all of you. Um, I am aware of it. I, I've been anticipating a lot of interest in the streams uh, for the Xbox players out there, the console fans. I think it's a wonderful thing, by the way. I think it's great that we'll have all of you join our, our wonderful community. Um, but yeah, uh, time will tell. I've got to, I got to kind of do some, some uh, research and some testing if I get a capture card. How that's all going to work? It's going to be right around the time I get my new PC too. So. I'll probably be doing a lot of a lot of different things, testing in that to prepare for it. But uh, stay stay connected, RC guy. We'll uh, we'll keep you posted here. Look below, KDFW. Oh, okay. Let's look below. Oh yeah, that was there. Probably right around. Yep, there it is, right there. There's KDFW. Thank you, Kyle. There it is, right there. KDFW, I knew those those lakes looked familiar. There's KDFW right there, some fans. Major, major hub for American Airlines. Did I miss my descent? I think I'm I'm still okay, right? If, if chat is 78, is, or is that wrong? Because it says 108, or am I like way off? Am I like way off? Because it says 108 nautical miles. So if I look at this, I think we're fine. Because like, we're still 77 nautical miles from ACT, then 59 from the D cell, 78 from chat, or is this 59 not right? Aviation will be at DFW tomorrow. That's amazing. That's cool. You're all over the place, dude. Kyle Summer says, I'm four minutes from descent. I, I think we're okay, um, aviation, unless I'm like completely missing something. You say start descent, but unless I'm doing like crazy math, I think we're good. But I do need to enter destination um, information. So we're gonna go to performance. Um, this is cruise, so we're gonna go to next phase. Um, and uh, let's go to next. And so Q&H. 
I'm gonna go check and see what QNH is for um, Austin. So let me check that. Uh, it right now is 29.98. So we're just gonna go ahead and say 29.98 QNH and oops, for my error. Oops. Temperature is twenty-seven, twenty-seven degrees Celsius. So plug that in, and then our winds are um, one six zero at ten knots. So one six zero slash ten, and there we go. And transit transition altitude is of course one eight zero zero. For transition altitude, uh, so should we get there now? That's probably going to be number. Yeah, this whole thing. All right. Aha! You sent me a company. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, gosh. Aviation. I'm so far behind. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's go. Um, MCDU Menu, ATSU. See received messages and oh my god. <laughs> uh, let's see what this one says. You don't have to use live time. Okay. Uh, let's see the next one. Uh, request to use live weather all the way from top of descent till on the ground. Cool. And then lastly, meet you in Austin. Well, that was the first one, right? So the latest one, you don't have to use live time. Oh wait, we got more mess. Uh, next one, a request to use live weather all the way from top of descent till on the ground, and then meet you in Austin. Okay, those are all the ones. I'm still getting used to this, guys. I'll print them out. I'll print them out for you. Oh, Alan, thanks for joining us once again. See you, Alan. Thanks again for joining us. Uh, blue skies, Alan. Appreciate it. Hopefully we'll see you on Saturday. Saturday for uh, a little uh, BFR flying, Alan, hopefully. Take care, my friend. Thanks for coming. Sim fans, thank you. We are at 20, 20 likes. Thank you so much. Cheers. Aviation and Kyle and, and the rest of you, uh, I don't know, maybe I missed it or, uh, hey, so, um, Glando, how, how's the stream been going? Have, have we had any buffers? Has it been good? I think it's been good, right? Uh, Kyle just hit the top of the scent. How far are you in front of us, Kyle? Like, what, 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 uh, what waypoint are you at, dude? I'm still a ways away, so we're like, I feel like this is wrong. I don't know why, but I just feel like, I don't know. Let's, let's take a look at some of the fans. Let's take a look at the map. I just, I have this funky feeling. This. We're like, it's still at 36,000 feet. That does not seem right. Like, if we're that close to Chad and descending, that doesn't seem right, does it? It's got to be wrong. It's like, like we're we're gonna like from D cell, so we're gonna start descending from here, and then be like ready to land. And something tells me that is not right. Oh yeah, you're at forty-four thousand feet. Again, I know it's hard for me, like like aviation, like you always tell me, trust the system. Am I missing something, Aviation? Tell me if I'm missing something. Because you go, oh crap, start descent. You said that. Was that to was that to me or was that to uh, was that to Kyle? Because I, I just the math is not working for me here. Decel before ACT. It's 
it's after, right? It's, I have this, I have this feeling, guys, it was something's not right. Is D cell part of this? Like, should I ignore that? I shouldn't be adding that, right? So should I just be adding the 78? Maybe that's my problem. Should, should I ignore this 59? So should I be going like, okay, from Chad, or, or uh, let's see here. So we go 4, 87, and that still works though. It still works. I'm gonna believe it. I, I'm just, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna fly it. I'm gonna believe it. The math. If we got, we have 487, 13 plus 8 is 21. So yeah, I'm just gonna believe that if we're 21, 21 nautical miles from Chad, which would be 21 from here, the starter descent, and um, so that would be 21. 24, 104, and 108. So I'm just gonna buy it. I'm just gonna go with that. It still says 108, so I'm just gonna fly that, guys, and um, we'll see what happens. So again, we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna believe in the system, right? We're just gonna believe it. Until until we get like our little, our little top of descent, you know, little bug that we have. So we know, oh yeah, I can feel fuzzy and fine. <laughs> like I do with the Zevo, so I know exactly where it is. This, yeah, that's something that's gonna come, I'm sure, for fly by water soon. Okay, Kyle, if you just pass through flight level 360 because we're at 360, that makes me feel better because you're ahead of us. That makes me feel better, buddy, so thank you. Um, Kyle, did you say where are you at right now? Like, what, what, um, waypoint are you at? Inquiring minds want to know. I can extend my range to 160 to see the EFIT. Will it actually show? Will it really? Well, let's do that. No other like aviation spotter to tell us. Okay. Is this it right here? Is that our, um, that's probably it, huh? Cool. I need to update this aircraft though. Already descend? I what well, does it but I don't get it. Am I not supposed to look at this aviation? Because that says 108 miles from my destination. What am I missing? My target altitude is 1600, 36,000, 108 nautical miles. What am I missing, dude? Because if I want to descend already and you're behind me, I don't get why I would I would start descending now. I mean I believe you. But is there? There's got to be something wrong. Something's wrong. Man. How am I past my descent mark, though? If that says 83, it's 83 nautical miles to UT, right? Am I? What am I missing? What am I missing, dude? Because if that's 83 and 108. Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm supposed to be at 1600 from ELLBJ. I'm supposed to be 1600 from there. Well, if that's four miles and it says, because uh, I got this programmed. I mean, I, I, I believe you do, but I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not believing the system. All right, I'm going to start descending. If you say so. I just, I don't, I don't understand why it's. Okay, so we're gonna start descending, some fans. But it's, it's just not making sense to me. Huh, it, you're right, it shows distance of 91. So what's, what's going on? 
Oh, now all of a sudden it updated. Look at this. Now it says I'm 70 miles from Chad. What the heck? Something's okay. Something's messed up, dude. Something's messed up. I appreciate it because you got me. You got me squared away here. But something's absolutely messed up with this. <laughs> Something is like completely messed up. Oh, thanks, RC guy. Appreciate it. Thank you for the subscribe, buddy. Cheers, cheers. Um, appreciate it, RC guy. Okay, so something. Uh, tell me, I'm I'm like not losing my mind, right? Thank you for liking RC guy as well. Yeah, like all of a sudden it updated. Like Chad is like 63 now. But like U T okay U T E E E, there's no way that's 83 nautical miles from Chad, right? Like let's take a look at this, everybody. Like look at this. That that's not 83 nautical miles. That's that's what was messing me up. Okay, obviously a bug. Obviously a bug. Obviously a bug. Okay, some fans. Well, we're starting our descent. Thank you, Aviation Spotter, because obviously I can't trust this FMC because it's not right. Um, but uh, we're we're our, we're doing our descent. Well, let's put in drag. So we're gonna put in. See, I, you know what? Now I understand, Aviation Spotter, why you say you don't like doing the A320 because you can't trust the vertical navigation system. And you're absolutely right. Because, like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I should have noticed that, though. Like, when I was looking at, um, when I was looking at this, I should have, like, actually been able to say, okay, between, um, Chad and UT, there's no way that's 83 nautical miles from there to there. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, okay, I got you, buddy. Yeah, I, I don't know, I, you know, it's hard to trust it now, right? All right, well, this should be interesting, Sim fans, because we're going to be, like, dropping like a... <laughs> we're going to be dropping like a uh, like a hammer onto this airport. Yeah, like like Blando says, just, <laughs> just nosedive to the runway and pull up at the last second. Everything will be fine. <laughs> hey, you know what, Blando? I've done that before. I have done that. These guys know this, and you know it. I've done that. All right, some fans. Well, while we're descending, we're gonna land it. Don't worry, we're gonna land. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. Um, I gotta do a quick bio break. I will be right back. Yeah, you bet. Uh, and I, you heard me right. I'm gonna do a bio break as we're descending, really steeply, and I'll be back because you know, hey, if you if you've all been with me, you know I'll get us. I'll get us there safely. It might not be the prettiest, but I'll get us there safely. Aviation knows that. Um, so I'll be back in just a minute, some fans, and we'll turn on the uh, the Bravo throttle cam once I get back. Be back in just a minute.
Okay, where are we at? Uh, final approach is rapidly approaching. Yeah, it is. Airport's farther than you. There it is, seven. another runway for landing. One eight right. Austin Tower Allegiant Alpha Alpha Yankee zero 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 would prefer runway one eight right. Allegiant Alpha Alpha Yankee zero 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 <laughs> Austin Tower. Altimeter tree zero decimal zero one wing one four six and one <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, I almost had to turn the engines off. Aviation. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Ah, uh, I can get us down. You know that. All right, we're under 10,000. I'm going to turn the landing light, strobe light, everything on. Let's take a look. We've got our lights on. Excellent. I hope I can. I hope I can. I might just have to hand fly this, so no, no ILS here, because we're just going to have to fly this right now. I know the spoilers are still up. Look at what I'm descending at, dude. Oh, it's only like 1300. God, yeah, that was that was so close, dude. Thirteen right, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the autopilot. Autopilot's going off. Off, auto thrust off. Flight director off, flight director off. This is a complete manual landing here, sim fans. 13 right. American 139 or 6 with 14 right at 1. I'll have to put this I'll have to put this close. All right, let's go uh, medium for the spoilers. That's the thing, the Airbus wants to like control everything. It drives me nuts. We might have to go, I, this might be the time I have to do a go around. Can I do a side slip to a landing with an Airbus? Let's try it. Here we 
we go. Yeah, we're going way too fast. Jeez, way too fast. Well, I'm slipping, but I'm still going way too fast, guys. Wow, way too fast. Acknowledge. Slide slip. my safe uh, safe speed for landing gear ah shit we're gonna have to go around I can't even do this one we're gonna go around spoilers down I'm just gonna do around I hope that like the Airbus isn't gonna like do like stuff that drives me nuts when it starts like trimming my aircraft when I don't want it trimmed. It drives me crazy. Look, look at this. I don't want it to like go nose high. I, you know, I hate to go around, as you know. I hate to go around. But I think in that case, it was the right... It was the right call. I think that was the right call. I just that was not set up very well. So we'll get it. We'll get it. I think it's better to be safe than sorry, right, guys? Flaps one in. Let's go ahead and start banking. Again. Again. I don't have a master caution going off. What? wasn't lighting up. Weird. Okay. Uh, it was weird. It wasn't like lighting up for me, so I didn't know. I've got my volume, by the way, turned way down, so. Okay, here we go. 
All the aircraft on final. Who's on final? I'm gonna put my landing gear down. There we go. <laughs> Darren. I want to tell y'all, good luck. We're all counting on you. That is a great movie, Darren. Airplane. Oh my god. So great. Contacts are all getting dried out, guys. It's crazy. Well, you know what? Oh my god. How many times is this guy gonna. Or is that me? Or is that someone else? Oh, somebody else. Okay. Looks like a pretty good approach. Frame rate's gonna be better, but alright. Somebody's right be right beside us. Love it, love it, love it. Alright, here we go guys. This might be our best landing yet. Ha! <laughs> As Kyle says, negative thirty-five feet per minute. Three hundred. Who's that? 30. 20. Okay, maybe not the prettiest ever. And you're right, uh, aviation spoilers weren't armed. Oh, they still came up though. Weird. But we made it. We made it, Sim fans. Woo! And who's that? <laughs> who, who is that? Is that you, uh, Kyle? That might be Kyle right there. Well, we made it, Sim fans. Amen. Hallelujah and amen. Even with the go around, we made it. But you're right, I forgot to arm the spoilers, Aviation. All right, landing lights, uh, strobes off, taxi lights on, landing light off. We're gonna fi we're gonna follow Kyle on in. American one three nine or four turn next taxiway. We'll follow Kyle on in. That guy just stop. Acknowledge, granted. Thank you. Seven for Allegiant Alpha Alpha Yankee zero 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 zero. 
Where are you going, Kyle? Kyle's just gonna park over there. Okay, well, that makes sense. Uh, we're gonna go right here to this ramp. Well, not ramp, but you know what I mean. Uh, and this guy's like, okay, come, 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 and... Why am I not moving? <laughs> okay. Alright, well I guess this is where we're gonna stop. There we go. I bet I have my reverser still on. I like reprogram this? Yep, that's why. There. Peace. There we go. Okay. Oh! Jeez, guys. Sorry. Aviation spotter about, what did you say? 30 seconds from landing. All right. Okay, sim fans. Well, we're landed. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, get the aircraft shut down. Uh, frame rates are really bad right now. I don't know why. Um, so we want to go APU master switch on. And now we're going to go down here to the ECAM page. And we're going to go to... Why are, man, the frame rates are just horrible right now. Uh, APU is already up. Flap open. So let's go ahead and start the APU. And we should see that starting up as it is. There it goes. as it lights up. All right. I think we can start the APU bleed. That's set. All right, now let's go ahead and turn off our engines. So engine two off, engine one off. And we aren't going to quit quite yet. Turn our beacon off, our taxi lights off, our wing lights off. And there we go, some fans. Our engines are spooling down. And uh, as we get set there. <laughs> that was great, by the way, Darren. That was awesome. I want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> a hospital. What is it? Well, it's a big building with a lot of windows, but that's not important right now, right? <laughs> oh, you guys kill me. Well, obviously, I still have work to do on this aircraft. There's, there's uh, some bugs, obviously, in the MCDU. But that's okay. They'll get there um, for sure. Let's see, um, I'm gonna turn on my Xbox controller and see if I can capture um, Aviation Spotter as Aviation Spotter comes in for a landing. Let's see. There he is, right there. So we'll, ca we'll catch uh, Aviation Spotter as he comes in for a landing here. I'm guessing that's him, no, that's not him, so it's right, he's right up here I think, some fans. Thanks, thanks, Blando. Appreciate it. We we landed. See, I I told you guys. I said, I am not gonna kill you. I promise you. I will not. Well, I can't promise necessarily, but I I I, I will do this. I'll promise. I will do all I can to get you all home safely. <laughs> uh, thanks, Blando. Appreciate it. Thank you for staying with us on this stream, Blando. It's always good to see you, Darren. Great, and thanks for the comedy there, Darren. That was great. And, uh, oh, Sage TX. Sage TX, follow company. Sage, nice to meet. Nice that you're on the stream. Sage, welcome, welcome. Cheers to you. 
Like I say, I it, it may not be the prettiest landing, but I will get you guys most of the time landed safely. Not always, as you guys have seen, we've run into difficulties, but that's kind of the fun of the stream. You never know. Oh, thanks, Sage. Thank you for subscribing, buddy. I appreciate it so much. Um, and uh, to you, RC guy as well, thank you so much for subscribing, both of you and all of you. All of you guys that are watching, definitely appreciate it so much. I think we have aviation. Let me go to, let me turn on the name tags. By the way, guys, if you come you come stream with us uh, for our fly-ins and even outside of our fly-ins, I often do this. I'll turn on the... Uh, the traffic nameplates. So even for um, you know those of you that are on Xbox, we will see you um, on here as well. And um, wait, where did you go? Did I? Oh, I missed. I missed flying Boeing. I'm sorry, aviation. <laughs> I missed your. I missed your landing. And there's some of Kyle. So Kyle and uh, flying Boeing. Um, appreciate you guys as always joining us for the stream. Thank you so much, guys, as, as we get all three of us captured here um, as, uh, look at that. Let's jump back into the aircraft and fans because we want to see uh, Aviation Spotter coming in for uh, the gate here. Beautiful. Nice job. Aviation is always great job. And Aviation, thank you as always for um, keeping me real. But uh, you know what, we got landed sim fans. We are safe, we're sound. Kyle, always a good time flying with you. Uh, to all of you, uh, Sage TX, cheers to you. Hey, by the way, Sage, cheers my friend. Cheers to all of you sim fans. Thanks so much for joining. I do appreciate every one of you. Thanks for joining. If, if you haven't subscribed already, I know you already did, so forget it. <laughs> and you already smashed the thumbs up button and we are at 20. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Hey, as always, this is a channel for all of you. It was so much fun. We've got some new Sim fans here tonight. So, Sage and RC Guy, welcome to the stream. Blando, a, a special call out to you, Blando, and always, Aviation Spotter, we missed Aces. This is like the first time we've missed Aces. We're going to have to give him a hard time, Sim fans, because like Aces, although we can't give him too hard a time because he's made like every stream. But Aviation Spotter, Blando, thank you for joining. Darren Johnson, thank you for uh, joining as well. This is, I think, the first time that you've joined the stream. Appreciate it, as Aviation Spotter did. He put the link to the Discord server. Please subscribe to Discord, because we're always talking about stuff. Like, we talk about anything. It doesn't just have to be aviation. We've, we've talked about, you know, camping, biking, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so again, everybody, thanks so much. So um, again, to all of you that are followers, I thank you. Um, to all of you that are first time joiners, thank you to you as well. It's great to have you as part of our family here in this channel. And uh, as always, Sim fans, stay safe. And we'll see you Saturday, 8.30 Central Standard Time, 01.30 Zulu. Until then, blue skies. And we'll see you soon. Take care, Sim fans. Until Saturday, happy flying. Bye-bye. Somebody just flew by us really, really close. Pardon my French. Pardon my French, Joe. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> it's taking off. There we are. What the hell? Did you see that? What was that? Tell, <laughs> tell me what that was. What was in the middle there? Because we buttered it. Buttered, buttered. We buttered it. And it says we crashed. I'm going to call bull crap on that. Do you guys think I could... Let's see if I can get this. Um, this... 
see. That's the other way. <laughs> Probably not quite as good as Austin. Thank you, Austin. <laughs> All right, I'm getting parked. Give me one minute. I think we'll start gently setting up our approach then. Sounds good. I'm gonna run through some of these baggage carts. Oh no! Those actually registered. Oh, did you crash? Yeah. <laughs> they actually they actually registered. I wasn't I wasn't prepared for that. Green, I didn't touch the ground. Okay. Alright. Here goes T Mac. Oh! <laughs> And there it goes, there he goes. Nicely done. Hey, he, he touched and went though. Darn it. <laughs> Here comes flying Boeing. Is he? No, oh, he hit right before, but he bounced. He bounced. He get under control. <laughs> Is he gonna go off? He's gonna go off the end. <laughs> right through me. Oh, did he? <laughs> Damn it. I wish I had my drone view. Oh. <laughs> I got that! I got it! Oh my gosh, that was great! I got what you, happened? Aviation! What happened? Oh my god, you're gonna have to you flip the plane. You're gonna have to check it out on the stream. That was okay. great. Right. Let's see how this twin does. <laughs> he, he hit it, but he, he, he bounced back up. I put full power. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's, he's gonna. Oh no! He's gonna crash! Uh, well, <laughs> he, he's stalled. There's Tepper. The here. This plane is, is a heavy no. plane. Yeah, you got it down. I'm good. I made it. What was that? There was a jet uh -oh. that just crashed. And yeah, well, that'll have to make the highlights maybe. Guys, I think uh, this airport just closed down. <laughs> Whoa, he hit him. Oh my god. He hit him. He hit him all right. Bases, are you gonna taxi back or are you gonna. Oh no! Yeah, T Mac, T Mac just bit it and Tipper just bit it. <laughs> hey, you know what? That's good for that's good for camera work. This isn't good. Oh sh all right, we're crash landing, guys. We're crash landing. I don't know what's going on, but... What happened? <laughs> Did you guys see that? I am using, I am using live weather, but dude, we've, we have a, uh, we have a high performance, you know, we have the turbo, but like, I couldn't get, uh, I couldn't get any, uh, RPMs going out of that. Yeah, I, I definitely went down. Well, that was interesting. No, I don't. don't do that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, there it goes. It's like all of a sudden there's like snow or something all over it. Okay, let's try this again. Automated weather. That was the problem. What is he flying? Wait, wait, what is he flying? Guys. Oh, uh, he. What? <laughs> that's not a cub, is it? There's no way that's a cub. He's not... He's not flying a cub, right? Because if he's flying a cub... At 11,600 feet... There's no way he's blowing by us like that. He said he has a perfect dirt, but that's not a cub. What is that? Wait! <laughs> It might be. Oh my god, there he goes. That's awesome, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, give me a break. Like you're flying like that in that in that airplane. Not at this altitude. What's that big green light like in the middle there though? Like seriously, dude, what is that? <laughs> I mean, look at that crazy mofo. Oh my god, we're floating. Oh, this is nuts. 
<laughs> Sorry if I blew your eardrums out, but that was too funny. Oh my god. <laughs> well, now I don't feel so bad, Aces. <laughs> oh my goodness. That crazy guy. Turn the strong and that's my turn because I'm laughing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Strobe's off. That's a pretty cool shot too. You guys are all like in tight there. That's awesome. I'll have to put that on my like desktop or something. That's, that's sweet. That's sweet, guys. Nice job. Nice flying. Wow. Especially for the fact that, you know, we're like 30 seconds apart from like, uh oh. Kyle, did we just lose you for a second? You'll come back. Sounds good. We got a nice little diamond formation going on here. Yeah, it's looking yeah. good. Sorry, I got a little out of position. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a screenshot and post it quick. Ah, uh, look at that. Flying Boeing showing me up. <laughs> it's all good, my friend. Look at this. Hey, no, we're flying together. Full throttle. What the hell? It's a race! It's a race! It's a race! <laughs> Gear up. <laughs> we have heavy rain, right? That's what, that's what they say, heavy rain. Live streaming, I think it'd be hilarious. It'd be fun. And, and that's what we do. Instead of it just being a flying, we're, we're doing kind of like fly here, fly there, fly there. We're just like... Still got everybody? Yep, everybody's with us. <laughs> So, uh, I, I think um, you're probably having a lot of blood flow to your head there, Aviation. You're like hanging upside down watching all this stuff. Case in point. <laughs> oh, shoot. You got, so, got a rail, rail yard here. Sounds good, Kyle. Thanks for joining, man. Blue skies, I'm up your left. I see you breaking to the left. Have a good flight, man. We'll see you next time. That's all for now. Bye, guys. Safe flights. Blue skies. Blue skies, buddy. All right. Take care, Kyle.